What is particular about Nigeria and Africa is the fact that there is a large population that has no access to electricity at all. We've been working very closely with the World Bank now and the African Development Bank, together with the Rockefeller Foundation and the Global Energy Alliance, People and Planet, to say how are we going to provide sustainable power for 300 million Africans, you know, come together as a, as a continent. This is our common problem and it's a common goal. Before the mini grid existed, there was no power, no power from, from the grid. So how did they run their shops and businesses? Self-generation. Oh, all by backup diesel? Backup diesel, backup. My name is Isola Ebenezer, the fashion designer. I'm in the inside the street where I am. I'm to two weeks, three weeks. I'm going to check out my customer. We on that side. So we go to the wabai from there. We see support more and deliver cloth money right time. This is why again we are going to the from there. We more machine. We will open that branch again. Oh, we not see on the solar and there again, sir. My name is Choma Love. I'm into kitchen equipment and electronics before solar came. I use petrol almost 15 to 30, 20 thousand in a day to run my business. So when this solar came. Everything changed. Because of then I bought my pop-up machine. I can pop and sell him three to five modules in a day. I'm Dr. Adebio Michael. I'm the medical superintendent in charge of general hospital here in Toto. When there was no power, actually we used a liter generator. At a certain time, I think a liter of a diesel went up to 1,500. And with the little resources that we were given, it was really difficult for us to run it there. So with this solar now, at least we have a part positively in our services to the patient, being able to save life. To improve the standard of living of our citizens across the country, I call it not a challenge, but an opportunity in the Nigerian landscape. More than anything, it's about the impact it has on lives. Just seeing the smiles on faces, how lives are changed, that's the real deal for me.